Rectangular back, this time with another Marvel Legends news update. Okay, well, it's a pretty busy time of the year. A lot of things are coming out. As you may have seen, I put up a review of the new Netflix Wave Bullseye, or Bullseye from the Man thing, Build a Figure Wave. And um, yeah, overall, pretty happy with him. Uh, it was the only figure from the wave that I wanted. People have been able to pick them up at GameStop and also Think Geek, which we do not have here in California. But um, if you're lucky enough to have a Think Geek, Think Geek store in your town, then you might be able to find them there. Uh, as far as getting them anywhere else, uh, I think a few online resellers have been shipping them out. Dorkside Toys, I believe Entertainment Earth is also shipping them out right now. And I believe Big Bad Toy Store should be shipping them out pretty soon. And uh, local comic book stores might be getting them in, in, you know, within the next week or so. So... Pretty soon they will be everywhere. I don't know a release date yet for Target or Walmart or Toys R Us. Probably going to be around August 1st or after that. Um, once I get a you know confirmation of any of those places uh, getting them on a particular day, uh, I'll let you guys know. I did go to Walgreens and check their system. And according to Walgreens, uh, they're not showing them coming uh, or shipping out from the warehouse until uh, October. Uh, I can't remember the exact date. I, wa I want to say it was like the 17th of October, something like that. Um, so, yeah, looking at uh, mid October for Walgreens, you know, obviously that date might change, but as of right now, um, it's definitely not going to be anytime soon. When I when I had gone there previously, it had said their system had said that it was going to be uh, July fifteenth, so uh, basically today. But um, obviously that that's not going to happen. So um, probably uh, online distributors got the jump this time, and uh, you know like in in previous. Um, waves, the Guardians wave showed up at Walgreens first, so I think, I don't know if it's Hasbro that's doing this, but um, you know, different resellers seem to get priority um, they kind of switch it out, so sometimes Toys R Us will get stuff first, sometimes Target will get stuff first, sometimes Walgreens, and then sometimes it's online resellers so, um, I guess you know it's, I don't know if it's luck of the draw or they just take turns or what, but um, yeah, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that it's not always the same stores getting things first. So while we are still on the subject of the Netflix wave or Man-Thing Build-A-Figure wave, uh, one thing that I, I didn't have time to go over in my review is the bullseye, unmasked bullseye head. Will it fit on the Hawkeye body from the Odin Build-A-Figure wave? And yes, it will. Uh, I haven't done it personally, but uh, this gentleman, L.M. Hernandez, on Facebook posted a good picture of that uh, kit bash and he has uh, the, the right arm painted for, for Hawkeye to make the, the dark Hawkeye. So uh, very cool. I'm looking forward to doing this with mine as well. And um, yeah, um, my review was, uh, was rushed because I had uh, uh, construction workers show up at the house right as I started to record. And I was trying to get through it as quickly as possible because they needed to make noise. So uh, apologies, but... Um, yeah, hopefully you guys will get a chance to check out the review if you haven't already. Going back to my visit to Walgreens this week, when I checked on the Netflix or Man-Thing Build-A-Figure wave, I also checked on the Gladiator Hulk wave 
uh, the next Thor wave and that also was showing uh, mid-October uh, for a release date so um, now that again is just for Walgreens but um, uh, these images showed up on eBay of the figures loose out of the package and um, as with most uh, pictures on eBay they are not the best quality um, but overall the the figures look pretty good going back to what I reported earlier Thor the movie Thor is going to be two per case and the Loki movie Loki will also be two per case so uh, everything else is going to be one per case obviously and you will need every figure from the wave to build the Gladiator Hulk. So there isn't, if you want that build a figure, you're going to have to buy uh, at least a full case of six and you're going to need every figure to build the uh, the Gladiator Hulk. Which looks pretty good, but um, yeah, the only figure that, uh, actually the only two figures that I'm interested in getting are Ares and uh, Hela. Um, yeah, I don't collect movie figures, but uh, that Hella looks uh, quite nice. She's uh, pretty much too too nice to pass up. So not only are we seeing pictures on eBay of this wave, but somebody in San Diego, their local comic book store, got the uh, at least one case of the the Thor wave. So uh, I don't know where they purchased the set from, if they came from a distributor or a, a direct source overseas, that would probably be my guess, because um, I'm not hearing them showing up anywhere else. Um, this gentleman, William uh, DiMalanta, posted a picture that um, his comic book store got a full case and um, I don't know if it's the same person but uh, they posted a picture on eBay of the, uh, the Thor in the package and it was uh, for local pickup so um, yeah at least one person has been able to get these uh, early and um, from what I hear they should start shipping out here pretty soon to resellers so probably in the next week or two so as we see the Netflix wave roll out we're gonna see the Thor wave hit probably within a week or two right afterwards so um, you know I was kind of trying to reiterate that that uh, these these waves were gonna hit back to back um, pretty similar to uh, what we had seen in the, the previous uh, waves hitting uh, simultaneously the Guardians wave and the Spider-Man Homecoming wave. While we are on the subject of Hulk and Thor, the larger scale, the 12 inch scale figures for both of those characters uh, have also started showing up. The, the Hulk figure showed up at retail in Mexico, I so I believe it was a Toys R Us in Mexico. I'm not exactly sure, but um, yeah, he he was showing up there, and um, a gentleman, uh, Greg Monroe, was able to get the Thor and the the Hulk, and um, then a gentleman, uh, Chris Standridge, uh, posted a picture of. The figures out of the package along with the 12-inch um, uh, Spider-Man, the Symbiote Spider-Man, which is a Target exclusive, uh, next to the 6-inch uh, Moon Knight that's from the uh, Homecoming Wave. So you can get a size, uh, a, an idea of the scale, how huge that Hulk is. He's uh, 14 and a half inches, and the Thor is uh, like just over 12 inches. So um, pretty massive. Um, if you're going to try and uh, pick one of those Thor, uh, Hulk figures up to flip, 
apparently he weighs over five pounds so the shipping would be quite expensive so um, you know definitely try to find him in the store or uh, try to get free shipping online because if you're trying to have one of your buddies buy this for you the shipping costs are not going to be cheap um, also the Hulk showed up on uh, walmart.com uh, haven't seen the Thor show up on Walmart, um, but right now I think he's, I want to say he's listed for a third party seller, um, let me take a look here, no, it's saying sold by Walmart, and um, simultaneously the uh, Hulk and Thor are showing up on Amazon as well, uh, Hulk, Thor is showing up as a pre-order um, that is from a third party seller and the Hulk um, also I think is from a, a third party sellers so don't know when um, Amazon itself is going to be getting these figures but um, I'll let you guys know when I find out a few people might be excited about the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 pack with Ego and Star-Lord uh, I am not one of those people, but uh, originally this was going to be a Entertainment Earth exclusive, but um, that quickly changed, and uh, you're going to be able to get this um, quite a bit of other places. Apparently, they are shipping out now from Entertainment Earth, and um, a gentleman, uh, Brandon uh, Crawford, got his in the mail already. Um, no, I don't have a, a better picture to show uh, about the paint applications, but from what I can see, the um, the ego head comes with two heads, and they look very similar. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of uh, change in the sculpt there. So I don't know if it's just um, the the one or two pictures that I I have seen. Um, it's really hard to tell in this photo, but um, yeah not not impressed so far so um, we'll just have to wait and see when uh, people start actually taking them out of the package and uh, getting pictures of those and finally for this update the Phoenix 2-pack from Toys R Us uh, has started showing up on their website um, it was being kind of uh, problematic where some people were able to see it and add it to their cart and uh, other people in different parts of the country were not. Uh, I was able to um, put the set in my shopping cart but I didn't uh, I didn't actually make the purchase. Um, I'm, I already have the set and I didn't want to have to pay full price for a second set so I'm going to hopefully wait for them to go on sale or to, for Toys R Us to have another sale. They just had one earlier in this week, so it's kind of frustrating that uh, the timing was just wasn't there. But, um, yeah, so next week is San Diego Comic-Con, so it's going to be pretty crazy. I'm going to try to stay ahead of all of the information coming out from there. Um, also... If you know anybody, if you or a friend or family member um, works at Target or Toys R Us or Walgreens or Walmart, any place that carries Marvel Legends, um, please ask them if they are willing to be a source for information for me. I um, struggle to get information from Toys R Us. And uh, I'm going to struggle even more now for uh, Target because um, my source there is uh, probably going to be leaving that job. So um, I'm reaching out to my viewers. If, um, if you work at Target and you think you can help or you know somebody who might be willing to do that, um, please have them um, contact me uh, on the back end of my channel. And... Um, yeah, Toys R Us is also a, a challenge as well, but um, 
any any help is uh, is definitely welcome. And with that, hopefully you guys like the video. You share with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I always love hearing back from you guys. So please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.